Barbados Tourism Marketing Incorporated has signed a memorandum of understanding with Royal Caribbean International to recruit locals for various posts on the company's cruise ships. Minister of Tourism and International Transport Senator Lisa Cummins, who signed with President and CEO of Royal Caribbean International Michael Bailey, said it was the accumulation of two years of discussions. BTMI Chairman Shelley Williams said Barbadians are expected to get jobs in a wide range of positions, not only in traditional hospitality spots. When I looked at the list of uh, jobs that will be available to our Barbadians, we are talking about from engineering to uh, carpenters to plumbers to electricians to seamen and people in sports, um, youth. There's a cross-section. That is the largest cross-section I have ever seen. And I'm so excited to be on board. And, um, and I think you are now going to lead the way for other discussions from other cruise lines for us to have this kind of relationship. And while they could not say exactly how many Barbadians would get jobs with Royal Caribbean, the CEO said it would be a fairly significant number of the approximately 16 to 20,000 positions that have to be filled annually. And those Barbadians who are selected will start work within a matter of months. Normally, once we've gone through the recruiting process, which I think we're, we're trying to coordinate a final date for the recruitment fair, if it's in, say, six to eight weeks' time, then typically when we hire people, we, we from, from the point of being recruited, it usually takes anywhere from four to, I'd say, four to eight weeks before they're then assigned to their, their ship. And so, you know, it's probably, um, let me think, two, four, it's probably about four or five months before we start seeing the new crew from Barbados arriving on our ships uh, as a ballpark. It could be sooner, obviously. Now, Bailey also used the opportunity to thank Barbados for assisting Royal Caribbean with getting around 20,000 crew members back to their homelands at the height of the pandemic.